Lou and Jackie Good here. Good morning. Well, you know, a lot of the major events that are happening around the state of Iowa had to be canceled because of what's happening in our world today. But there's one we want to make sure people are aware of. Too. Yeah, what we love supporting yes. Capital City Pride. So we are very excited to have the president of the board and vice president of the board, Dan Jansen and Jen Carruthers joining us this morning as we should be celebrating pride as we are celebrating pride. We're just looking at it in a different way as many are now in a virtual format. So good morning, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank morning. you for having us. Yeah, so actually what you need to look at this is uh, at Pride Fest for the entire month. You, yeah. know, you know, let's celebrate the entire month. And Jen, that's what we want to really do, isn't it? Uh, we're doing a virtual Pride. We're pretty excited. You know, since we can't gather in person, we felt like it was still very necessary and important to be connected and be visible and still uplift our community because uh, it is very important. So we're pretty excited to do our first ever virtual Pride. And you've had uh, quite a few events in the works, a couple which have already happened as this, you know, Capital City Pride, that's Iowa's largest LGBTQ gathering. Again, again as you mentioned, Jen, we can't really gather as right. we would hope to right now. So how have those virtual events been going so far? Um, so far, they've been going really well. We, um, we've we kicked it off with our speaker series, um, uh, and then we are also having a virtual um, silent disco and those have been great. We've had good participation and interaction. And, you know, I think people are just anxious to come together in any format. So the virtual events are, are really, really great. And globally, Pride festivals are being canceled, mm -hmm. you know, as many events are this summer as we learn more and more. But what's, why is it so important to still show that Pride, to still have events, even if they're in a virtual format? I mean, Pride is essential for most of the LGBT community and allies because, you know, it's one time out of the whole year um, that I think our community feels seen, they feel heard, their voices are uplifted, and they're valued for exactly who they are. So since, you know, we have this health crisis on our hands, um, we felt it was very necessary to still find a way to connect one another during these hard times, especially actually during these hard times. Yeah, and I think everybody, you know, we all seek community, and I think that Pride Week and Pride Fest are great ways for people for the, uh, from the LGBTQ community and allies to come together and visually see each other and, you know, kind of get that in-person support. Now I want to get a little more details on some of the events that we saw pop up here coming up this upcoming weekend. We're talking about the fun run and, the, and there's a pet parade that is coming up too. So Dan, tell us uh, about the fun run and how people can participate in that. Yeah, sure. So people can go to our either our Facebook, um, our Facebook site or our website, and they can register for the fun run. Essentially, what we're asking people to do is to go out and run a 5K on their own. Um, they can uh, register for a fun run T-shirt, take pictures of themselves, and then we will post those online to show everybody who's kind of gotten out there and shown their pride in a healthy way. Yeah, and you said you're you're even going to uh, post the pictures of the top finishers. And you're going to have prizes, so this is going to be the, this is going to be very similar to an actual event with everybody at one place. Yo, yeah, for sure, it should be a lot of fun. Hey, people should be used to Capital City Pride. Nothing is done on a small <laughs> scale. We're going over the top, and it's going to be fabulous. Including, we're saying June 28th is the. Parade, is that, you know, when we look at last year and we look at, uh, you know, what happened during the parade and how fabulous it was, right. is that what we're still thinking for this year on June 28th? I mean, it's going to be a little, obviously more scaled down still. We still, you know, the parade is our silent protest, you know, lifting up the voices of what, you know, Stonewall riot. And so we still felt like it was necessary to be there, but it's going to be obviously modified quite a bit. We're just asking people to come down um, with their favorite pride flag wave it out the window, and essentially we created a course that will go from uh, East 6th down Grand to East 3rd, back up Locust, for essentially 30 minutes. Um, so we can have social distancing and all that, but also physically kind of see other folks um, showing their pride and still having our silent protest, but in a very social distancing safe way. That is really neat. And uh, come and go in Wells Fargo, helping you present the Pride Flag Parade. And that will be a Sunday event too, Jackie. So this would be perfect timing. Hey, I've never been to a socially distanced parade before. I haven't either. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready to show my pride and come out and see what it's all about because we're making history here. But I love how you guys are still wanting to stay connected because I think you hit it on the head. It's now more important than ever mm -hmm. that we stay connected during these trying times. 
So, Dan, yeah, sure. what, what, have, what have we learned over the past couple of weeks uh, with everybody's involvement as to what is going on with Pride? Well, I, I think what we've le really learned is, I mean, of course, when we had to cancel, that was a, a very difficult decision. And we were worried that, you know, people would feel disconnected and, you know, maybe wouldn't know how to get involved. And actually, we've had a lot of interaction, a lot of people reaching out to us, tons of community support, support from our sponsors, from our allies. So I feel like people are reaching out, people are communicating, they're participating in our virtual events. The communication has been awesome. So, I mean, that, that has continued on. It's just a an altered or a new kind of communication. Yeah, Absolutely. Jen, do you think the communication avenues have opened up a little more, possibly because of what's going on as well? Oh, absolutely. I think, um, you know, you can always turn what some deem as a negative into a positive. And for us, I think we're looking at it as an opportunity to reach Iowans and folks outside of our community that may have not been to our pride before. And for whatever reason, there's accessibility or time schedule conflicts. But now we have an opportunity to kind of show them what we do. And even where, you know, things are kind of down, we still know how to have a good time and put on some good events. So I do think there's a great opportunity in that right there. And it sounds like people need to stay tuned in to what you're doing on the website, on Facebook, because there could be more virtual speakers that are coming in over the next few months. And of course, we're going to be looking forward to more events in 2020 in the fall and winter season. But right now, we want to let everybody know you still have three great events right around the corner that people can still participate with virtual Pride Fest. You have the fun run coming up on the 20th. You have the pet parade on the 27th, and then we have the official parade on June 28th. So I Again, if people want to be a part of Virtual Pride Fest, where do they need to go for those details? Uh, at Capital City Pride Iowa is our Facebook handle, and then www.capitalcitypride.org. So I'm expecting, Jackie, that your little baby gets sent in for the pet parade. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jack, Jack needs I mean, to be in it, yep. I mean, yes. You were in the puppy bowl. You're in the puppy bowl. I'm saying <laughs> top 12 make the calendar for Pride 2021. Jack, right. good for you for I've calling around on that. I've been called out yes. on live television. I done <laughs> and done. Now I just got to get the fabulous outfit to go with the, the dog. <laughs> that is Perfect. awesome. You guys do incredible work. Thank you so yes, much for everything you Yes, thank you for do. everything mm -hmm. you and your board does. You guys are incredible. Thank you for for keeping it strong and our pride alive here in the capital city. All right, take care of yourself. We'll Thank see you so much. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.